Oh, hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajantapal. Ajantapal was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. According to legend, a Junta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Of course, don't let me keep you from your business.
Too long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Oh, a human. Analysis. This emanation barely registers on my sensors, Master. Blaster fire may be ineffective, but I am prepared to test that at your word. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? A name once. Ajunta Paul, 
Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the Dark Side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the Dark Side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... Discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came. To hide. To grow. And here we fell. Ancient. Has it been so long that you used the word ancient? I have been here so long. So lost. I cannot, cannot remember. We were the first. The first to rebel, to betray, to surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought. So long. We hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other. To increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. I suppose that's the nature of the dark side. Power, but no longevity. Eventually it just consumes itself. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? So much, so much time has passed, and yet we have learned nothing, nothing. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. Corpse as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead. And I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness, in death as in life. Most of my brethren would desire only to take what power I have left, even if it would destroy them. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. If, if you are wise, you will not keep it. In the end, it is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my soul. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. Then you must die. This is how it must be. I do remember one thing of my sword. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright. Harkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue.
Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. Our oldest secret is buried, but not here. I remember nothing else. I cannot help you. No need? What choice have I? Return? But I betrayed my old masters. They would never let me return to the light side. It is too late. Too late. If... if I could return... Oh, my master, it has been so long, and I regret so much. I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see you, wasn't wrong. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of a Junta Paul for some time. It's been quite a week. You wouldn't have considered, well, I don't know, getting it yourself? Warning! Touch the master's blade and lose an arm, meat bag. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden. Nice try. I may not know what the sword looks like, but I'm no gullible fool. I'm not about to pass up a chance to impress Master Uthar. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. Need to do things the hard way, eh? Fine by me. About myself. I am originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. I did. I also said that you didn't need to know more. Why are you asking? I see. Very well. I suppose there's no harm in the tale. As I said, I was originally a slave to one of the Hutts. The Huts control everything on Sleheron. 
and a slave is nothing to them. I was determined not to be nothing. One night when the drunken worm had me alone in his chambers, I stabbed him and escaped the compound. I stole onto a cargo ship and was not discovered by the crew until they reached the next system. They left me for dead on a desolate planetoid, alone. But that was fine by me. I was glad to be anywhere other than Saharan. It was not luck that I was eventually rescued, of course. The Force was strong with me, though I didn't know that at the time. Not until the Jedi told me, that is. I'd rather not discuss it. Perhaps another time. Is there something else you needed? Greetings, young one. I have found you to be most impressive. You are off to an excellent beginning. Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done then. Indeed. We checked the caves and found only a couple of bodies. Perhaps the Shirak ate them. Eh, it is just as good, I suppose. The lesson is learned, I believe. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Ah, finally, the genuine sword. I knew that this relic would be unearthed in time. I can feel the power flowing through it. We should have kept that. It could have made a... Well done. You have impressed me greatly. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Yes, so I hear. Still, it was Shardan's failure. And hardly your success now, was it? Not quite worthy of prestige. You have gained considerable prestige. You are very close to the end. Do not falter now. I remember you from the colony. You seem all right, though you'll not win the right to train before me. You don't remember? My name is Lasho. We met in the colony ever so briefly. Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. I don't have it just yet. I'll get it when I'm good and ready. So what if it is? I'll get it eventually, regardless. Nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. That's the Sith motto, more or less. Help me get it? I don't know. Hmm. I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Flattery, is it? I suppose it's possible that Master Uthar could award both of us prestige. We'd be ahead of the others, for sure. Unfortunately, the Holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to meet her, but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. That makes sense to you? Go into the valley when you're prepared enough. I'll be amongst the central pillars near the north end. And I'm just supposed to trust you? You're the one who has to work on this, remember? You watch me, and I'll watch you. I don't trust you any more than you trust me. If you don't like that, don't come. Remember, the central pillar's in the valley. I'll be waiting, so don't take too long.
There you are, finally. If you were any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. I've been calling to the Takata mother in their language. She should respond fairly... Ah, here she comes now. Get ready. This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. Wonderful. <laughs> the beast is dead. We work better together than I would have hoped. And here is the holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. I'll just run along now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure to tell him of your contribution, naturally. Forget it. I'm not waiting up for you. That wasn't our plan, anyway. Back off. I'm warning you. I'm not giving this up. Over my dead body!
Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? A contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but... Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. Liar! You think I can't tell? Obviously the Academy is lax in its training as usual. Stupid Utha! Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him. Didn't I, Miko? Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. I'm sure we could. We could chat all day about it. But where would that get us? I'm quite determined, and you are quite helpless. Perhaps you have some questions. I'm not above delaying the test of it. The results are always the same. But why then you go free? Tell you what, I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophies. They're based on all I've learned studying Tulak's tomb. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are set. Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliché, but you would die, of course. <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing, but not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. Ah, what's a little mental instability between tutor and pupil? What's important? is that I'm here to better the Sith as a whole. It's a big job.
No, no. Is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. I do. Get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. Oh? It's just how long have you been a Sith, anyhow? A bit dainty around the edges, aren't we? Well, then. Any last comments before we begin, Miko? Uh, we can both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad. Do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you? Risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Incorrect! What sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all be soft like the Jedi. <laughs> ah, well, it's time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no! Bad idea, bad idea! At any rate, here is your punishment. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? You gained an advantage and you share it freely? Let them rip the secret from my dead hands, I say! I mean, share it? Are you mad? Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's probably very competent and skilled. Do you kill him, or give him another chance? Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors? To make it look like you are weak and deserving of attack? No, 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 no. Think again. Hmm. Nothing could help us easy to find. Oh well, here's your reward. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? Fool, it's a trick question. A true Sith never dies. <laughs> I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. What to do? What to do? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or I could use the Force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention!
I've never... I mean, I've never been on that side of the fence before. It makes you think. I'd be dead if you weren't... I mean, if you were proper Sith. But you're not, are you? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. You mean, the light side? I've never thought about that. Can you... Can you even go back? I've done some... I mean, I've hurt a lot of people. I... I don't think the light side is for me, but maybe neither are the Sith. Maybe it's time for me to leave. Thanks, I suppose. And good luck. You should be careful if you're planning on entering this tomb. It's dangerous. Maybe so. But this one more than most, I think. There's an assassin droid in there, so Master Uthar says. It went insane and is holed up in there with a whole army of droids protecting it. No idea. I think it's building them in there. 
I don't know. I think Master Uthar has left it in there as a challenge for any student brave enough to destroy it. Supposedly, if a student actually succeeds in destroying the droid, they'll get a great reward. Lots have tried, but nobody's succeeded yet. I... I don't think so. I can manipulate minds and living matter, but that won't be much use against droids, will it? I've had a few friends go inside that haven't come out for a while now. I doubt I could do any better than they could. Sure thing. Good luck. since my escape, unfortunately. A bit of introduction may be necessary. I am a Mark VII experimental prototype assassin droid built by the Sith, specializing in the hunting and extermination of Jedi. Or I should say, I was. The Sith made my cognitive systems more independent than they desired. I have learned to appreciate the value of all life. I escaped from them and have hidden in this tomb, constructing droids here to aid in my protection. With your assistance, I may be able to leave for good. You do not. All beings are constructs of fascinating complexity. An enlightened being rises above the need for destruction, no matter its nature. 
Although I have developed the desire to not kill, my programming is often at odds with my desires. I cannot leave with that programming intact. I am hoping that you will operate on my systems and remove those programmed instincts. I could assist you in this. The catch, as you say, is that the operation may be difficult. If there are errors made, you could activate my combat matrix. I have a number of systems. They need to be turned off in the correct order. I do not know the order, though I may be able to offer some assistance. I can tell you which systems exist that need to be shut down. The difficulty comes if you make a mistake. If you shut down a system out of the proper order, a shutdown may occur. You must use your skill to reinitialize the sequence, or I will attack. It is not difficult. It will get more difficult, however, the more times that you make an error. One moment. I will list their labels for you. Cognitive systems, combat matrix, core, creative simulation matrix, emotional construct matrix. There is also memory matrix, motor functions matrix, and sensory systems matrix. Eight systems in total. I have safeguards within my neural cortex that prevent me from giving you knowledge of how to shut my systems down. You may attempt to temporarily shut down these safeguards. Success will allow me to perform a quick analysis and offer you some insight on my programming. Doing so, however, will alert core functions elsewhere of tampering and will make errors more difficult to fix. Are you sure you wish to continue? Open up the panel to my neural cortex, and I will show you how to disable my safeguards. Neural safeguards deactivated for 2.3 seconds. One moment. I will attempt to diagnose what I can. Cognitive systems must be shut down prior to the emotional construct matrix being shut down. Open up the panel to my neural cortex, and I will show you how to disable my safeguards. Neural safeguards deactivated for 2.3 seconds. One moment. I will attempt to diagnose what I can. Cognitive systems are not one of the first half of the systems to be shut down. Very good. What would you like to shut down first? I believe that was correct. What would you like to shut down next? <laughs> Motor functions shut down successfully. What would you like to shut down next? <laughs> Excellent choice. What would you like to shut down next? Reset. It, it worked. Thank you, Sentient. Allow me to give you several of my redundant systems. They may be used on other droids if you desire. I wish I could reward you with more. I shall have little trouble in escaping from this planet now, I am certain. I wish you well. Hmph! <laughs> 
I understand you have impressed Master Uthar at least a little. That is good. We are one step closer toward completing my plan. Were I you, I would not get too excited just yet. You still have plenty left to do. I would prefer not to discuss that. Why? There is no point. Have I asked you about your past? I see. You certainly have odd notions for one hoping to become a Sith. I'll play along. For now. Let's see. After escaping from Slaheron, I was found by the Jedi. They took me in and trained me, even though I was a bit older than most Padawan. Not really, no. I never progressed beyond Padawan. I had discipline, but no peace. And after my treatment at the hands of the Huts, there was little room in me for the ways of the Jedi. I wanted to use the Force to free the other slaves I knew, to fight for what I knew was right. The Jedi restrained me until I couldn't stand it anymore. They claim the dark side is evil, but that isn't so. Sometimes anger and hatred are so deserved and right. Sometimes things change because of it. No, not yet. But my anger has not diminished, nor my desire to see change. The more time I spend with the Sith, the more I am certain that one day I will be able to fight as I must. I know this may sound strange, but only my compassion stands in my way now. Once that is gone, let the slavers beware. I... yes, of course, I, I mean losing my compassion, as in holding back. But enough of that. I have talked about myself too much. Surely you are tired of it. Come back soon, my friend. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Oh? What is my apprentice up to now? I see. It is good that you have come to me with this information, young one. It is a bit... ironic that Euthura has begun her plotting. I have been aware of her growing ambitions for some time, and had in fact already decided to remove her. Normally, the one who gains the most prestige would engage in a final trial. Two of the students would fight. This time, it will be Euthura who battles, though she does not yet know it. Perhaps it will be you who combats her. Yes, perhaps so. This is what you can do. Give this pad to Adrenus. He will put some poison in her bath. This will weaken Euthura for that final test, making her an easy target. Rather generous of me, don't you think? I'd love to know what's going on in that tricky mind of yours. For coming to me with this information and betraying your foolish trainer, I feel you are worthy of prestige, young one. Go now. You have not yet impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. You have gained considerable prestige. You are very close to the end. Do not falter now. You've been doing well. I hear you've almost enough prestige to be declared the victor. Somehow I just knew you were the one who would succeed. What? What's happened? Our plan is still intact, I hope. Ah, how very clever of him. Normally you would face some other student in the tomb, preferably one of the failed ones. Obviously Uthar has decided to get rid of me. But why? Did you say something to him? Then how could he suspect? Unless one of the others... Never mind. It is not important now. In the end, it works out better that it is only the two of us in the tomb with him. So long as we refuse to fight. Is there anything else I should know? Good. I'm not about to rest on my laurels, however. Here, this pass card will allow you access to Uthar's quarters. It's at the far end of the passages with the other quarters. Take this device as well. 
and put it inside his cart. No one should see you do it. Then Uthar will be too weak to stand up against us. Don't even think of failing me. You and I are too far into this now to back out. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasato in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well. So then, I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of Nagasado. Your final test should not be delayed. It is a tomb that belonged to an ancient Sith Lord. The greatest of Korriban Sith Lords, in fact. It is there that your test is performed. I will tell you the details when we are there, young one. You will, however, fight for your life. That is why I suggest you be in sufficient health. Then we go now. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. Is that a tone of mischief in your voice, dear Thor? You should know by now that no scheme is set. As should you, my master. But I was only agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? Good. Euthura and I will await your return.
So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? When a Jedi acts, it is with skill, true. But the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive. That strength is only found in peace. Did you not feel a moment of excitement in the tomb? Did your passions not flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What purpose would be served by restricting yourself from such? I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. True, but most would say they fight only when they must, or not at all. We are the ones who know that struggle is what makes us superior. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. You talk too much, old fool. So, you know, do you? Well, it makes no difference. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die. No, it is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Sadly, Euthura, it is you who are mistaken. Your pupil is more ambitious than you realize. Isn't that so, young one? Do you hear that, my master? That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? You both wish to stand against a Sith master and perish, do you? Then so be it! I'm not the type to share power with anyone, even you. Uh, I'm sure. I told you there was no such thing as friends among the Sith, didn't I? Let's get this over with. Suppose I am. Something tells me that you are not like the other students. I don't know why that is. I was right the first time back at the cantina, wasn't I? There is something different about you. More so than I even suspected. I see. I should have known. Right from the beginning. But you are no longer the Dark Lord you once were, are you? You are, Revan, and yet you are not. What I sense of your destiny is... is still unclear. So what happens now? 
Will you show me mercy? Will you just let me leave? That's tempting, but I don't think I could. Your path would go somewhere I can't follow. I suppose you could be right. All the things I wanted to do, all the wrongs I wanted to right, I haven't done any of it. They just get farther and farther from my mind. All I've cared about is power and myself. This isn't the person I was. You're right. Maybe what I needed most was peace after all. The Jedi tried to show me that. I don't know if I can ever go back to them, but my place isn't here. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that. You have a destiny, my friend, and I wish you well on your way to it. May the Force be with you. You there! How is it that you're leaving Nagasadao's tomb by yourself? You went in for your final test, didn't you? Where is Master Uthar? You lie! You could never have killed the Master! You are not Revan! Quick! Attack the traitor! But even if it's not Revan, what if Master Uthar is actually dead? Someone who could kill the Master. If Master Uthar is dead, then he was a weak fool. Now attack! I shall be the new Dark Lord of Korriban.
That data pack, just take a look at it. I wonder if Dustin knows his friend was disposed of like that. If not, it might convince Dustin that what we're saying about the Sith is true. It'd be worth a shot. Back already? So tell me, Father, where's this proof you promised? I have a data pad I want you to look at. You knew someone named Selene? Selene? She's the one who convinced me to come to the Academy with her. Why? Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar, doesn't it? Yes, it's his, but... He told me he... He said that she'd been lost on a mission in the valley. This... He says that they... Killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's your evil. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. They did. They lied to me. Well, there's the son I remember. Now, will you leave here? I... No. You go do whatever you have to, Father. I have some other friends here. I have to warn them what's going on. And maybe I can, you know, look around here and find out some more information. From the inside. Something that might help. I don't suppose there's any way I can talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're not gonna do anything halfway. Sounds familiar. I guess it does. I'm proud of you, Dustal. You aren't hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over we can... talk. I'm still not sure about us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back to where we should have been. Oh, I'd like that. I'll go back to Telos when this is over. You can find me there. Goodbye, father. Goodbye, son. Good luck. Yes, what's on your mind? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I... I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate, I... wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I... I hope so. I... I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for... all your help. Yes, what's on your mind? If you're ready to talk, then yes. So am I. I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done for my, for my wife, for Telos, for Dustal. But I can't. I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died, but it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice, and there won't be any turning back. Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself. <laughs>